hi everyone how's it going um welcome to my 16 week pregnancy vlog today i am 16 weeks and 13 days pregnant um first of all i should say if you'd like to get hair like me um you can be jet lagged for a week stay up every night um only get four hours sleep sleep in the bed with three children not shower keep your hair in a top knot um, basically just be a total feral and you'll get as beautiful hair as me so um, that's the secret to this wonderful um, I'm not sure what's happening at the ends here sort of decided to kind of curl themselves um, but that's okay because guess what I'm in quarantine and no one's gonna see me apart from you guys I'm in quarantine with three children, my friend Susie, in a little teeny tiny apartment, um, and we're all kind of going a bit crazy. So we can't go outside, it's so pretty outside, it's snowing, it's also very cold, it's um, minus 13 degrees Celsius. It's pretty, pretty cold. I don't think I've ever been in such cold weather actually. Um, and the house is only heated in three rooms, so half the house is just like, an ice box and then the three little rooms are heated so we're, we're just like all in three rooms in this house um and I'm also trying to homeschool so it's been really interesting I've had a super jet lagged week um the first three nights of oh, the first night I was up from 2 a.m the second night I was up from 2 30 a.m the third night I was up from four um last night was the first night that even though I was getting woken up by the kids or just by poet last night um I managed to fall back to sleep which is what wasn't happening earlier in the week I would just be awake um because of just the the changes in the time difference and my body clock was absolutely not adjusted so last night was my first good night of sleep even though it was sort of in these little spurts if you calculate them all together I had about nine hours sleep which was quite nice um anyway did you guys know that my oat milk frees all the cows in the yard yeah so it does so if you guys haven't tried oat milk you definitely should um anywho it's been a very funny week we uh, have just been adjusting to this quirky little apartment here. Um, I have this thing, even though we're only here for 10 days, I have this thing that I have to completely unpack all of our stuff, even though we're only here for a short period of time. So I unpacked all these suitcases and put all the drawers in because I really want to feel settled. But of course, I didn't realize like how teeny the apartment would be. So it's just constantly messy and there are toys everywhere and um and I've really been trying to limit screen time which is sort of a really dumb idea I should probably be upping the screen time in the middle of quarantine in this little apartment but I've been trying to be on top of that all right you only get an hour and a half a day you can have an hour here and you can have half an hour here um because then there's all these hours in the day that we need to fill uh, and I've been really busy. I Since I got back, um, obviously we're promoting the book. Last week when I spoke to you at my 15-week pregnancy vlog, I was doing audiobook recordings, um, various like podcasts and interviews and things for the book release, which comes out April 6th. If you guys have not pre-ordered, you can jump on actually our website where you are watching this right now and pre-order. Um, and then I've had Love Well Work. We're going through this really big rebrand and we've got this really cool marketing company and, um, and they sort of are helping with tone of voice and the way things look visually. And, um, and so that's been really exciting. We've got three new blends coming out. Um, and everyone always asks me, can I, can I drink Love Well when I'm pregnant? Can I drink Love Well when I'm breastfeeding? Yes, you totally can. I have been drinking, um, Blossom, which is our formulation for women, uh, since we started. And I have been, not only have I been breastfeeding the whole time, I've also drunk, uh, Blossom through two pregnancies. However, I, because it has a more complex blend, so it has the mushroom blend in it, 
Um, I checked with my care provider, my midwife, and she said, yeah, that's fine. So we do recommend you check with your midwife or your care provider. Um, and if you want to be super duper safe and not have the advanced ingredients, um, you can still have the really awesome one, which is called Grow, and that's for children. And that still has all the fruits and veggies and vitamins and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I've been working on that this week. Um, and I was actually saying to Sarah, it's so liberating actually being here with my friend Susie, who's working with me. She's helping out with the kids. Um, because when I don't work, we don't have a nanny. It's just me and it's just Mark and it's all of our kids. And I was saying to Sarah, like, oh my goodness, this is what it feels like to actually be able to get work done. That's so mental. Um, and she has a nanny that lives with her, Sonia, who is amazing. Um, literally the best person, one of the best people in the entire world. Um, and Sarah can get Bayo work done. She can get your Zen mama work done. And I just said to her, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so freeing. Like I've been able to work on Love Well, have a two and a half hour meeting and not feel like, sorry, Mark, oh, I'll swap out with you. Um, so yeah, it's been quite interesting because I feel like I'm actually getting a lot done this week. Uh, while still being able to homeschool and, and all those sorts of things. So it's been a pretty productive week for me. Um, Pregnancy-wise, I feel so good. I love the second trimester so much. I think I'm feeling little, little like hints of things, flutters, um, which is in some ways not alarming, but I... I just had this expectation that I'd be feeling her a lot more because she is my fourth baby. Um, and it's so funny. It's gone out of my head. I I think I said that I felt... I did these... <coughs> excuse me. Um, forest at 12 weeks. But now I'm like, oh, maybe that was just gas or something. Because I really have to concentrate and be super quiet and still, which hardly happens for me. And then I think I'm feeling a few little things, but I'm not even 100% sure. Although, I don't know, I think I'm feeling her. Um, but actually my phone right now is resting up against my Sonaline B ultrasound machine um, because I have been using it once a week until I can really feel her. I use it just to check in and make sure she's okay in there. Um, but anyway, this past week, I can't remember if I talked about this. Let me see. I'm going to check my calendar. I can't remember if I talked about this last week. Yeah, I probably did. Um, cause I got to see her on the um, ultrasound machine. And it was so amazing hearing the heartbeat, 155 beats a minute. And um, just like how much she was moving and wriggling. And, and it was just, it, it makes it so much more real when you can see them on the ultrasound. And it's so surreal going through pregnancy in a pandemic um, because it's quite isolating in many ways. And you go to your appointments on your own. Um, your hubs can't come with you, which is, just like so bizarre to me. I'm going to be having my 20 week scan when I get back. I'll be 24 weeks by the time I do my 20 week scan. Um, and that's a viable pregnancy. So that's, you know, if the baby was born at 24 weeks, like she would definitely have a, a chance of surviving. And I'm, I'm having my 20 week scan at 24 weeks, um, which is just interesting in and of itself. Um, but like, he's not going to be there for that, which is so strange because it's a big one you know it's the anatomy scan they're checking every part of the baby to make sure they're a hundred percent healthy and even though we've had the nipt test which you know eradicates most diseases and most issues um it it doesn't eradicate them <laughs> that, that didn't make sense um it basically tells you that your baby doesn't have any issues with any of those um diseases and all those sorts of things. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. I feel confident that she's healthy, but still the next big hurdle is that 20 week scan where, you know, what if they see something and then, and then you, you're not there with your partner. You're just sort of like on FaceTime with them. Um, so that will be interesting. Uh, 
Anyway, I love Jay Goldberg, who's the doctor taking care of me this pregnancy. I have missed calls from his office, which means that my tighter results has come in to see if they're high or if they're low. Um, let's just hope that they're really low. I have a feeling, I know they say with each pregnancy, an ISO immunization pregnancy can uh, get worse. So since Poet, there was just essentially no risk to her because my titers were always so low, if not nothing. I'm hoping that if anything, even if they're there, this it's such a small, like a, a nominal number, we wouldn't even have to worry about it. Um, they've only called me once, so I would assume that's good news, maybe good news. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling really good. I'm still sleeping on my stomach, not on purpose, but um, it's just the way I sleep. And I'll wake up and I'm like, oh God, I'm like flat on my tummy again. So tonight I was thinking of putting um, pillows around me either side to try and make sure that I can't flip on my tummy. So anyway, we'll see. Um, I know the further along I get, I won't be able to, it, it just won't feel comfortable at some point. So hopefully my body will stop doing that. And then I was reading something yesterday about how you can really decrease your chance of stillbirth from 28 weeks if you are not sleeping on your back. So I'm really going to try to not do that. Um, obviously that is my biggest fear in the entire world is having something like that happen. Uh, so I thought like, oh, if I buy, I've got a really crappy pregnancy pillow right now, which is sort of very deflated. And it was just a cheap one I got a few years ago. I'm going to get like a proper sturdy one and sort of put it around me so I can't sleep. I have to sleep on my side. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's something I'm planning on doing. I am about to start this job, which is wild to be working and to be pregnant and also it's a um you know it's a very intense dramatic piece it is a horror film so you know there's that element to it but actually it's about a woman who's grieving the loss of her child and sort of um she's losing her mind so it's going to be a very emotionally draining mentally draining performance uh, I'm really excited about it because I feel like I haven't had a character that I can really um, go to the depths of despair with for a long time. Um, and she's just in this perpetual state of grief and mourning. So it'll be really interesting. But I just think, oh, how am I going to protect my my little one in there from these feelings? So I just have to figure out like how to have boundaries and how to kind of wipe my stuff off at the end of the day and not carry it with me. Um, the last time I did a film like this, it was called Berlin Syndrome. And that was about five years ago. Um, and it was just so intense. And I only had Bodhi at the time, but I remember just being so, feeling so messed up. I hope now, you know, I'm older now. I've got more kids. I think I should be fine. Um, but anyway, I'll definitely keep you posted and let you know how it's all going. Can't believe we're about to start working after I've finished work, had three weeks break and I'm back again. Um, but really, you know, I'm doing it because I know I'm going to be taking most of the year off after this in terms of acting stuff. I'm obviously going to, you know, I'm still helping to run our business and, and your Zen mama uh, and your Zen life. There's still other things going on, but in terms of actual filming, this will probably be it for the rest of the year. I may do something small at the very end of the year, but um, uh, we have to make money. <laughs> we have we have a home. Or we have a home in America. We split our time between America and Australia. Um, so the kids have school in Australia, and then my stepson has school in America. So you know we have to we have mortgages to pay. So that is why I'm here, and that is why I'm doing this, and and also it's a really good script. So I'm excited. Now before I go, I'm going to quickly show you my belly. There it is, little sixteen week belly. Oh my god, I'm just about to run out of time. Okay, guys, that's it. I will talk to you next week. Bye.